a chance to talk to Marty Brown. Marty, I haven't talked to you. Oh man, it's probably been twenty some years. Bob, it's been a while. I yeah, know. yeah, you were you were smoking them down there in the nineties for a while, and then <laughs> yeah. uh, you sort of you know uh, you know d disappeared. Disappeared basically. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I started. Uh, I, I did my stint as an artist, you know, uh, uh, and and then I just started. Uh, I become a star, but not a superstar, you know, mm -hmm. and. So then after about 10 years, I started writing the, the songs, hit songs for them. I wrote, I'm from the country, and I like it that way. Sure, a good uh, one from Tracy. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it made me a lot of biscuits and gravy. Thank God for that one. And I've always loved songwriters, you know. So, uh, you know, like I said, I just started writing the songs for them. I was still making records. They just called them demos, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I married my wife, Shelly, who's here with us today. And uh, she's from Alabama. And I would come home with these demos, you know. These were songs that you were demoing for other... To present to other artists. Okay. And I'd tell her, well, so-and-so would sound good singing this, or so-and-so so -and -so would sound good singing this one. And she'd say, you sound good singing that, you know, and you need to you need to do it. You need to put it out. And I thought, oh, something like that. I'd shrug it off. Well, she took the ball in her own hands, and she tricked me, and she signed me up for a show called America's Got Talent. And... Uh, I'll never forget uh, uh, we uh, uh, how she sprung, sprung it on me. She's a school teacher, my wife, and uh, she uh, she went in uh, to school, got her class started, and she called me from I-65, and she says, Marty, she says, uh, let's go eat a nice uh, romantic meal at, at Amerigo's for lunch. I'm, I'm like, okay, you're eating at Amerigo's? It's sure. great. <laughs> so I'm saying, I'm game, let's go. Yep. And so we, we had lunch at Amerigo's, and after her lunch, she's... Uh, I said, well, I may as well plug a few songs while I'm in town. And she said, you can't do that today. And that's when she sprung it on me. She had tricked me and signed me up for America's Got Talent. And I didn't want to do it. I said, oh, honey, no. And she said, uh, just please do it for me, Marty. And uh, I pretty much do what she says because she's a good woman. And so I did it. And, uh, I, and next thing I know, two months later, they get an email uh, from the NBC producers uh, that they want me to meet the judges. They want to fly us to San Antonio, Texas and meet Howard Stern, Heidi Klum, Melby, and uh, Harry Mandel. And I looked at my wife. I said, well, that sounds good. I, I thought it was a joke. I'm like, no. But, but sure enough, they sent the plane tickets and uh, we went on a honeymoon. Compliments of uh, America's Got Talent to San Antonio, Texas. We went out there and uh, 